Hi guys, um, I'm going to take you through the second part of the little mobility workouts that I've been um, doing with you. Um, we're going to focus now on more of the upper body, so we're going to do wrists, shoulders, and we're also going to pay a lot of attention to the neck. And probably one of the most important areas to make sure that we've got a nice range of movement, that we're nice and mobile here. And also to correct our alignment with the neck, because it does affect everywhere else um, as far as the nervous system goes. So we're going to start just from a comfortable seated position, which can be cross-legged, um, or if you'd rather, you know, you can sit in, sit in your kneeling position, just sitting, making sure that your pelvis is nice and upright. But just take a few moments, let your shoulders relax, feel that you're nice and open through the chest, and we're going to begin with the hands. So just literally circling your hands around. Again, it's a joint that's designed for mobility. If you do a lot of work on a keyboard, you know, sitting at a computer, chances are your wrists are probably pretty clogged up there. So doing this little mobility sequence, again, whenever you find that your wrists get a bit sore, just rolling them around left and right. And even flexing left and right here. So we're just kind of wiggling the wrists from side to side. And then we're going to fold the hands forwards and backwards, paying particular attention um, to this inwards movement, where we're trying to bring the fingers towards the inside of the wrist, we're stretching through the back of the wrist. Again, quite important if you do a lot of cycling, and motorbike riders tend to get really tense forearms. So just making sure that you're working through your range. Again, if there's any noise going on here, don't worry, it's fine. As long as it's not painful. Okay, now just give your hands a bit of a shake, let them just relax out. We're gonna move on to our shoulders. So we're gonna start just literally by just rolling the shoulders up and around. I'll show you from the side on as well. So just big, steady movements. And then start to take your shoulders back one at a time. Comparing the two sides, make the movement as big as you like. Okay, and then let the shoulders relax down. Now with the backs of the hands facing forwards, we're going to take a breath in, bring the arms up, and then draw them down and bring them behind. And just do that a few more times. You can do these movements with your breathing exercise. You know, you could take a deep breath in. Exhale and come down. So you're kind of synchronizing it with a little bit of breathing work. And then we're going to start to come out to the side. So imagine you're sweeping the palms out and up. And then we're going to come down. As you come down, internally rotate the shoulders, bring the hands behind. See if you can touch your fingers. And again, sweep up. And come down. And if your shoulders feel a little bit tight, you can you know you can keep these moves going a little bit longer. I'm just quickly going through them just for the sake of the video. So if you do want to spend a bit more time, then obviously pick a movement where you perhaps might feel a little bit tighter and just work on it a bit longer. Okay, now one of my favorite movements for the shoulder now, a little bit of coordination involved here. We're gonna take the arms and reach up. Try and keep the body fairly steady. We're gonna to start to take our right arm forwards as we take our left arm back. We're gonna circle all the way round and then we're gonna come back up to the starting point. Now the trick of it, we're going to reverse. So left arm comes forwards, right arm comes back. And just keep switching sides, just keep alternating. Imagine that you're brushing your fingers out to the wall, so we're trying to get as big a movement as we can. Okay, and then coming back down, let your arms relax. Now we're just going to finish with one last little movement, starting with one hand kind of roughly on the collarbone. The back of the opposite hand comes into the small of the back. So if you imagine roughly on your kidney area. And from here, what we do, we sweep the arms around and we just change position. So we're going to end up with the back of the hand on the opposite kidney and coming over to the chest. And we just keep switching. So you're coming around and through. And again, make the movement as big as you comfortably can. shoulders clicking away there okay and then come back to center just let your shoulders relax down right moving on to the neck then so basically we need to take our neck through lots of different directions of movement 
um, basically through the, all three different planes. We're going to start with flex and extension. So you're just going to sit quite relaxed. Try and begin with the neck in a neutral alignment, um, which basically cheekbone should be sitting roughly in line above your collarbones. We don't want to feel that we're pushing the head forwards, um, but at the same time, we don't want to feel that we're tucking the chin too far in. So roughly cheekbones over collarbone. Just imagine that the front of the throat is nice and open, the back of the neck is nice and long. And then from here, we'll start with our flexion extension. So we're just going to let the head drop down. Chin comes down to the chest and then we tilt the head back. Take it as far as you comfortably can. Yeah, as long as you're not forcing it or pulling your head back, you can take it through a complete range. So take it until you feel your natural resistance there. And then just keep working through. From here, come back into your neutral alignment, and we're now going to do some little rotation work. So feel that the chin is parallel to the ground, so trying to feel that your jaw is even on both sides. Shoulders are relaxing, and we're going to rotate. So you're looking from one side to the other. We're aiming for roughly about 80 degrees of movement here. If you can get that, great. Just check that as you're rotating, that you're not allowing the head to tilt. We want to try and get a pure rotation as much as we can. Quite tricky to do. Again, this is something that you can do if you do sit at an office desk. You probably do have a tendency to push your head forward. It's something that we all get into the habit of doing, and it can have quite a lot of damaging effect on the rest of the body. You know, it can be the cause of your headache by the end of the day. It can even tighten other areas of the body. So it really is important if you are sitting for long periods that you do work on mobilising the neck joint. Okay, now come back to centre, and finally we're just going to let the head um, laterally flex. So we're taking ear to the shoulder and then just change your size. And again, just keep it gently moving. You can slow the movement down, you can go up a bit slow if you want to, or you know you can speed it up a little bit, but just find a pace that feels comfortable for you. And it also happens sometimes if you close your eyes when you do this kind of ability work. As soon as we close our eyes, we take away one of our senses. So the, the body has to rely on other senses and it relies on what it's feeling. So it gives you more of an awareness of how your neck's feeling, you, know, you can compare the two sides. Just make sure that you don't feel dizzy. If you start to feel dizzy, then obviously open your eyes. Okay, and then coming back to centre and just let your shoulders roll back. Imagine you're lifting it up through the crown of the head, but you're drawing the shoulders down. So we're trying to extend and lengthen through the neck. And that's your little upper body mobility sequence. So again, I'd recommend that you do these at least three or four times a week. It only takes five minutes, so no excuse. You can do it sitting down, you can do it at work in the evening, but it really is going to make a big difference. Keep your body moving, keep everything nice and supple. And if you're stiff, it, it will have to undo some of that. You know, it will give you your, your mobility back, your suppleness back.